Okay, welcome back. The next step now is to do our dimensions. We need to put dimensions on the floor plan to indicate the distances and the dimensions of the measurements of the walls of our house. Now in AkiCAD, you can do this manually or automatically. Um, let's first of all try doing it automatically. The first thing we need to do is to create a layer for it so that we can always, you know, modify our dimensions all together. Um, so we'll create a layer. You know how to create a layer, documents, layers, layer model view, click on new. And let's call this dimensioning. Click OK and click OK to close. Now we've created a layer called dimensioning. Let's now begin to dimension our floor plan. Activate the wall tool and then do Control A. So now you see all the walls we have here have been selected. However, we do not want to dimension the foundation walls. So you can see that the walls, the foundation walls are also selected in our selection. So we are going to deselect the um, foundation walls. So hold on and shift on your keyboard and click on the foundation walls to deselect them. Now we have only the exterior walls and the partition walls selected. And that's what we want to um, dimension. Now activate the dimension tool is in the tip toolbar here and open its settings. We want to give the dimension a particular kind of look. For dimension type, we'll choose the linear type because we want it to dimension between spaces and not give us an uh, accumulative uh, measurement. The marker type. Uh, let's choose this one the, uh, to extend the weakness line a little bit. For the weakness line, we don't want it to have any height once we're exactly at the point where we want it to be. So choose the second one as a sized height. Let's change the dimension um, test um, to 2 meters just so that it won't look too big. So we type in two here. Good. Uh, for the marker size, we don't want the marker size to be bigger than the test. So let's give it a one millimeter. That looks good. Now let's go down to our arrowhead in the pointer side. The arrowhead we have here is um, this. This is okay. Let's reduce the size to one meter just so that it won't look too big. Let's go down to dimension details. And yes, we are using automatically dimensioning the walls and the slabs. Uh, we, wanted to, we want the outer face to dimension, not the core face. So we deselect the core face and select outer faces. For the layer, let's find the layer we just created called dimensioning and then click OK. Now, since this is automatic dimensioning, we'll use the features that are provided by Archicad. So to use that, go to documents. Annotations, automatic dimensioning, exterior dimensioning. Awesome. Now, if for some reason that the layer we created is not showing, you get a, um, a warning sign that's about the layer and you just click show layer for to continue. Okay, here we're going to set put up the settings the way we want to leave everything as it is. And yeah, we want the opening to be end points, not in the middle. We don't want it there, we want it at the end. Uh, we want the whole wall, whole size, yes. Um, for both, for doors and windows, we want them, yes. And then dimensioning the walls, want it to be out of face, yes. The distance between dimension lines should be 0 0.5, which is okay. Now we want to place dimensions on all four sides of our building. Now don't click OK. Now click on the two edges of any exterior wall. You can do it vertically, you can do it horizontally, it doesn't matter. To identify, to tell a card where you want the dimension to start and dimensioning to start and end. So I click on one and zoom and click on the other. 
So now the next thing we need to do is to tell Archicad where we want to place the dimensions. Now, I don't want it to eat into any of the spaces we have here, so I'm going to take it to um, a distance. And um, I'll let me place it over here. So it will be, I want it to start somewhere here. And then I click to place the dimensions. Now, it seems I see the dimensions are a bit too small. So let's change it. Let's do Control A to select all the dimensions we've done. And let's go to the settings. Dimension, Control A. Go to the settings. And yeah, let's increase it a little bit. They say three meters. Three millimeters. Awesome. So this looks better. Three millimeters look a lot better. The font size. So we have all that we need. Now, if you zoom in, you realize that the last dimension line is a duplicate of the other. We don't need this. So what we would do is to pick it up and delete, click, delete on each side, delete, delete. So now we have um, three dimension lines as we want it. Um, if you notice here, my dimension lines are eating into my section lines. I just, all I have to do is just adjust this, choosing the stretch uh, tool, just to bring it up a little bit so it, it won't. And the good thing with Avicad is once you make these corrections, they automatically get affected, you know, they would, um, automatically happen in your for the um, sections and elevations whichever one where you make the corrections okay so that's um, dimensioning done now we are we haven't finished the time we haven't dimensioned our columns for this one we'll use the manual dimensioning to do that we'll do the columns and then we'll do the exterior slab that's the exterior pavement Let's activate the dimension tool again. And zooming in, we're going to click on each corners of the columns. So click on here one, click here two, click here three, click here four, click here five, click here six, click here seven, click here eight. Now double click, swing up the hammer tool, and then we'll place the dimension anywhere we are comfortable with. Now let's repeat the same to dimension the exterior pavement. Click, click, place it somewhere here, and we'll repeat the same. Good. Hit escape to deactivate it. You can select the dimensions we've just done and increase the font so it will look the same as others good now you can always readjust the position of the fonts if you don't like where they are like i would like it this one to be exactly on the same you know to the parallel to the item and the call the column that it is dimensioning so i'll just move this and place them exactly where i want them to be this is just for aesthetics, just so that it looks neat and it will also be easy to read. Awesome, that's all now we're done with dimensioning.